Orion continues to fly smoothly on, all of its systems in excellent shape. It is a sight that never ceases to amaze, Earth in all its majesty, and equally bewildering the fact that only an hour later, Orion was back home. We should be performing uh, the skip entry maneuver momentarily. Its dizzying descent neared speeds of 25,000 miles an hour, both mind and horizon bending. Orion's uh, speed now down to Mach 6. For those down below, off the coast of California, it was an anxious wait. This flight was to test NASA's next generation spaceship. No one was on board this time, but the hope is they will be soon. And we're on mains. Parachutes deployed. This was the first sign things had gone to plan. A full inspection is still to come, of course, but for now, it is mission accomplished. Splashdown. Orion, back on Earth. The date chosen for splashdown was a nod to space travel folklore. Both hands down about the fourth rung up. It's 50 years to the day since this happened, when the crew of Apollo 17 became the last astronauts to walk on the moon. Now, NASA wants to do that again. This time, we go back to the moon to learn to live, to work, to invent, to create, in order to go on. It is the beginning of the new beginning, and that is to explore the heavens. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition, and liftoff of Artemis One. Orion's launch last month marked the start of the Artemis program. It hopes to land people on the moon in three years and then to establish a base there as a stepping stone to Mars and beyond. This time was just a flyby, a glimpse of what's to come and a reminder that in half a century, mankind has gone no further. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.